Crustaceans are some of the most successful animals on Earth. Fossils indicate that these invertebrates have been around for over 540 million years. New species are constantly being discovered, especially in places like the deep ocean. Crustaceans are a subgroup of tens of thousands of species within the phylum that contains arthropods. Crabs, lobsters, shrimp, crayfish, copepods, and barnacles are some of the best-known crustaceans. Crustaceans are found everywhere in the aquatic world, including oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams, although the majority are marine. They can be found from the Arctic to the Antarctic. Some, like the coconut crab, can also live on land. Wood lice are the only crustaceans that live entirely on land, inhabiting rotting logs and leaf litter. Some crustaceans are extreme animals. Amphipods may live in ocean trenches deeper than five and a half miles. Water fleas can live in mountain lakes as high as three miles above sea level. Brine shrimp live in incredibly salty lakes. Crustaceans vary greatly in size. Many are microscopic and play a vital role as food for fish and marine mammals. Water fleas, fairy shrimp, and brine shrimp are some of the smallest crustaceans, with most being smaller than a quarter inch. A large portion of crustaceans are decapods. This includes almost all of the larger species like lobsters, shrimp, and crabs. The Japanese spider crab is the world's largest crustacean. It has a leg span of up to 13 feet. One of the heaviest crustaceans is the American lobster, weighing up to 44 pounds. The majority of the crustaceans consumed by humans are decapods. Crustaceans have an external skeleton called the exoskeleton, along with a segmented body and jointed appendages. The exoskeleton is either thin and flexible, or rigid and toughened by deposits of calcium carbonate. A substance called chitin gives the exoskeleton its flexibility. This external shell provides protection and a rigid framework for muscles to attach. Their jointed appendages have many roles. They may be used to move, capture food, eat, breathe, sense the environment, and reproduce. To accomplish these things, some of the appendages are modified into claws or antennae. Crustaceans have two pairs of antennae, along with numerous small appendages around the mouth for holding, biting, grinding, and chewing. Three pairs of feeding appendages make up their mouth parts. Antennae are used for feeling, tasting, and smelling. Appendages under the abdomen, called pleopods or swimmerettes, are used for swimming, holding egg masses, or grasping during mating. Most have only two body segments, the cephalothorax, which is fused together from the head and thorax, and the abdomen. The cephalothorax is covered by a single plate, called the carapace. Crabs have a flattened carapace, with a short tail folded forward under the body. Lobsters have a cylindrical carapace with a long muscular tail. The tail in all crustaceans is segmented. Crustaceans have well-developed organ systems. For most, this includes compound eyes, a primitive brain, and a heart that pumps fluids around the body spaces. The heart is a simple sac with one chamber. Most of a crustacean's body cavity is hollow. This space is called the hemocele. It contains the internal organs and a fluid called hemolymph that is essentially the equivalent of vertebrate blood. Hemolymph contains hemocyanin, a copper-based oxygen-carrying compound. The hemolymph is pumped around the body by the heart in an open circulatory system. Crustaceans are cold-blooded, meaning that they cannot control their body temperature. It changes with the temperature of their environment. Most crustaceans use gills for respiration. In decapods such as lobsters, the gills are feathery structures located beneath the shell at the tops of the legs. Even woodlice have gills and must live in damp environments. Very small crustaceans respire through their body surface by diffusion. 
Some marine crustaceans are built for swimming, and others are built for walking. All marine crustaceans are free-living for at least part of their lives. Some become bottom-living as they mature. Many live solitary lives and defend territory. Others form massive swarms. Krill and many copepods live in swarms that travel up and down the water column each day to feed. Adult gooseneck and acorn barnacles are sessile, remaining permanently anchored to one spot. Many, like krill and some shrimp species, are bioluminescent, meaning that they emit light. Crustaceans can be found in numerous different types of symbiotic relationships with marine organisms. Symbiotic relationships involve long-term interactions between two different organisms with varied costs and benefits between the partners. Parasitism is a symbiotic relationship where one species benefits and the other species is harmed. Some copepods, amphipods, isopods, and barnacles are parasitic, obtaining nourishment from their host. Many crabs are scavengers, feeding on dead and decaying organic matter, making them vital in recycling nutrients. Other crustaceans are hunters and have robust claws to stun or crush prey before tearing it apart to eat. Many small planktonic crustaceans, such as some copepods, are filter feeders. They make use of their appendages to create water currents that waft food particles toward their mouths. Most barnacles feed in a similar way by using their limbs to collect food. Once crustaceans take their adult form, they can only grow by molting and replacing their exoskeleton with a larger one. This process is called ectasis. It is controlled by hormones and occurs repeatedly during adult life. The exoskeleton is produced from the layer of cells located immediately below it. Before a molt begins, the exoskeleton detaches from this cell layer and the space in between fills with fluid. Enzymes within the fluid weaken the exoskeleton so that it splits at the weakest point, usually somewhere along the back. A crustacean will crawl out of the old skeleton, leaving a hollow replica of itself. The new exoskeleton is soft and wrinkled at first. It must harden and expand. They absorb water rapidly after molting to expand the new exoskeleton. They remain hidden for a few days because they are more vulnerable to predation until the new exoskeleton hardens. After a series of molts, a lost limb can be regenerated. Chemical signals play an important role during various life stages of crustaceans. They help with the settling of larvae, parent-offspring communication, mate finding, and mate choice. In most crustaceans, the sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually internal. Some species protect their eggs by carrying them around, keeping them healthy by wafting water over them. Some release their eggs into the water. Larvae join the zooplankton and pass through various stages before maturing into adults. The various larval stages of crustaceans form much of the ocean zooplankton. Larvae may drift for weeks or months. On the other hand, barnacles are hermaphrodites, being both male and female. However, they only function as one sex at a time. There are instances of some species of brine shrimp using asexual reproduction by means of parthenogenesis. This is where viable eggs are produced by a female without the need for fertilization by a male. Many crustaceans are threatened by climate change. For example, tiny Antarctic krill are some of the most abundant crustaceans. However, their numbers in the Southern Ocean have fallen significantly due to water temperature rise causing ice melt. The krill feed on algae that forms beneath the sea ice and their larvae shelter under the ice to avoid predation. Many large animals rely on the krill for food. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.